Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I've not vlogged in like Sehri time in so long. Today I am making this mango mochi that I made um I think quite I think maybe about a week ago um in one of my Ramadan vlogs. So I thought I'd show you guys how to make it. Now I'm gonna put you here guys, but the light is probably gonna glare. Can you see guys? Look if I move. So I'm gonna try and block it as much as I can for you guys but I will keep showing you guys like this I'm sorry if the light is gonna actually think it because I just don't know where to prop you guys that's the thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get this and I'm gonna peel it you're gonna need I'm gonna do two mangoes I'm gonna use some normal milk you can use I'm using semi skilled you can use any milk that you want guys and then I'm using um, any vanilla you know you can just use any ice cream but I'm using vanilla ice cream just so it can thicken you can use cream you can use um what else can you use guys you can use quite a few things to actually thicken it so you can use cream you can use more milk obviously um you can put anything else that you might want to thicken ice or anything but i'm just going to do vanilla ice cream and the mango but yeah i'll show you guys thing is guys because these mangoes are so soft i've basically just rolled them and then just like squashed the whole mango out i'm obviously gonna have to take the stone bit out and normally when your uh, mango isn't as soft you have to obviously put in pieces but the way i've done it is because it's quite soft i've basically just um out so guys it's literally become like a pulp um i don't know why my messiness has come out so much lately in my cooking but obviously i had to squeeze the living life out of that mango so that's basically the pulp and quite a bit has come out guys i'm gonna add the ice cream and then the milk i'm probably gonna do about two to three scoops of ice cream just to thicken it but yeah guys and then just add the milk guys so just pour in how much you want I don't want to do too much because I don't want to make it too watery either. I'd be lying to you guys if I said it didn't taste nice. So nice, so sweet. Because um, the mango is quite sweet. Can you see the Ramadan calendar in the background? I don't know if it's been done up to date. Always like five chocolates. <laughs> I'm joking, it's not mine. But, yep, just waiting for Yusuf Sehri to be done. I think Yusuf decided to have apple and raisin wheat a bit. I'm just going to take you guys to go and get his wheat a bit with me because I think it's done. But yeah, one second, guys. Thing is, I can't have my wheat a or porridge. Well, porridge, yeah, you have to have it warm. Um, but then with wheat a I can't have it warm, guys. Yusuf loves his uh, cereals warm. I can't do it. Like, even Cocoa Pops. I can't. So, it's the morning and I've just got ready. And guess what I'm going to go do? Go to my mom's. Do you guys spend some time there? I want to get some Eid stuff sorted and just other errands that I want to sort out. And uh, yeah, guys, my scarf's really messed up today. But whatever, it's not that far away. The weather's, it's muggy. I've had my hay fever tablets and my dry drops. Made sure that I don't want to go through any of that again. But um, yeah, it's just a bit of a chill until I get to mom's. And then when I say chill, I mean like actually sorting things out. And then I'm gonna make my way to my mom's. Okay, so I've just been at my mom's house for a couple of hours. We've just been chilling and I was expecting a delivery and it's finally come through. But guess what guys, we ended up missing it, didn't we? It was behind the bin. Now, why would you put something behind the bin? One second, I need to open it for you guys. My tripod for the camera. No more bad angles for you guys. So I am putting you on the new prop thing. So it's a tripod. Oh my god, I think it's amazing. I think it's absolutely amazing. You know, for someone that's not used a tripod before, and obviously being used to holding it all the time, it's made my life so much easier, honestly, guys. But yeah, we've had it started. And I came home and again, as always, mom's was really nice. Um, and then I just came home, edited a bit for you guys with this vlog. I've done bits of it. And um, me and Yusuf thought that we would actually go and go to Tesco because we wanted to grab a few bits. Um, bless Yusuf, he's saying he's not going to be feeling like going to Rabi today. So I was like, okay, let's just try and see if we can go to Tesco. So we're going to go to Tesco, grab a few things that we want to do eat stuff with. Um, and then also grab a few bits for um just general because i think we're out of porridge and use of losses porridge guys you should know for uh sehri guys we're on our way to the car and where we are we going i've already told them but where are we going oh, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> you want to grab a few bits i have to forever ask him now like where's the, you know where the car is you know where the car is yeah, I, do. I just ended up wearing like one of his hoodies because i was like 
Wait, Tesco is on to be comfortable. And they all don't wear enough stuff the whole time. No, I don't. But I'm in the cars again, guys. Seriously, I forgot I'm in the cars again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's where um, the guy said, oh, <laughs> the ambulance oh, coming. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so basically, guys, yeah, there's this place, there's this street that we park on, and uh, there's this one man, and he always said there's an ambulance coming for him. I've never seen the ambulance come for him. Basically, that once, yeah, we actually moved. Always, um, what he does, yeah, the ambulance never comes, what he does, he, do you know when there's people that like, they always put their bins on on, on, on the road so, so, they, so they can get that car, that car park? Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> Honestly, this is Leicester for you sometimes. We're gonna start doing our shopping. Oh, it says Ramadan Mubarak. I can see it from here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Mission.com. Tesco. Jam parties. <laughs> Yay. Guys, I don't know if you got to see like our food in the previous clip. Yep. We got some snacks, we got some treats. Oh my god, there's a Jamaica cake squares. <gasps> no. Sorry, we're getting so happy over all these treats that are in Tesco. <laughs> we're making the most of it because it's really quiet, guys. But yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. You finding everything that you want? I trust me, I I I this one, jam tarts or Pie. It's up to you. I like the apple pie with double cream or uh, custard or ice cream. I can't go to somewhere. <laughs> I tempt him, don't I? Yo, yeah. Big to fuck my birthday, yeah? Yeah. Get this in there. How old are you? Two and a half. <laughs> you, see what I mean, guys? About how old are you? So okay, okay, okay. I'll be true. I'm three years old, man, okay? Don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, inshallah, I get it. You don't worry. You're always a kid at heart, I guess, eh? Hey? <laughs> Where? Yeah. Oh, that is sick, guys. So here, you got glow and duck balloons. And then, like, uh, also, yeah, I've told Sadia, yeah, not for my birthday, February, yeah? I've also heard like, that, give me this. <laughs> birthday boy. So this is what our trolley consists of. Everything that we needed and a lot more. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you guys what I've got. <laughs> Hey guys, um, I know it's another day but I completely forgot to end that vlog. Uh, we came back home and then we just kind of had surgery and then just knocked off. So I just thought I'd end the vlog here uh, because I need to get the other vlog up for you guys. Well, to record it. So um, yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, then don't forget to give a big massive thumbs up and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And until next time guys, I'll see you later. You take care. Bye.